Taiwan, a captivating island nation nestled in East Asia, has increasingly captured the curiosity of travelers worldwide. Officially known as the Republic of China, Taiwan boasts a rich tapestry of history, culture, and natural beauty spread across its 168 islands. From its bustling cities to serene landscapes, Taiwan offers a plethora of experiences waiting to be discovered. In this video, we delve into the fascinating intricacies of Taiwan, uncovering 15 shocking revelations that will undoubtedly leave you spellbound. From its vibrant street food scene to its towering skyscrapers, Taiwan is a treasure trove of surprises waiting to be unveiled. Join us on a journey through the heart of Taiwan as we unravel the mysteries and unveil the wonders of this remarkable island nation. Number 1. The Ring of Fire This gorgeous country is situated right in the heart of the Ring of Fire. Now you may be wondering, what is the Ring of Fire? It's not a fiery hula hoop, but a horseshoe-shaped region in the Pacific Ocean known for its seismic and volcanic activity. Consider it the prime location for earthquakes and volcanic eruptions designated by Mother Nature. Taiwan encounters more than 1,000 noticeable earthquakes annually. Yes, indeed, over 1,000. However, there is additional information available. Furthermore, there are more than 17,000 undetectable earthquakes. It's similar to having a continuous vibration under your feet that you may not even notice. What makes Taiwan a central location for seismic events? Basically, everything can be explained by its geological composition. This country, composed of islands, is located directly above some very active tectonic plates. Due to its strategic location in the Ring of Fire, Taiwan encounters a higher frequency of geological events. However, Taiwan is not only experiencing earthquakes but also other disruptive events. This island also has not one, not two, but four active volcanic areas. Yes, that's correct, four. The Datun Volcanic Group, known for including the famous Yang Mingshan National Park, is among the most well-known. Yang Mingshan is not only a typical national park, it's really where a live volcano resides. Imagine walking through vibrant foliage and admiring stunning vistas while being next to a volcano. It's equivalent to the most exciting ride nature has to offer. In 2017, scientists uncovered an astonishing find. A magma chamber was discovered only 15 kilometers away from the heart of Taipei. Yang Mingshan is not merely a dormant volcano, it is an active one located close to the busy city center. Number 2. Only 2.4% of Taiwanese people are native. Were you aware that just a small percentage of Taiwan's population is indigenous to the island? Exactly. Only about 2.3 to 2.4% of Taiwan's population is native. Even though the native population is a minority, new immigrants represent 2.6% comma, while the Han ethnic group makes up almost 95% of the population. That is a very diverse cultural blend. There are 16 officially acknowledged aboriginal tribes in Taiwan. These tribes possess ancient histories and cultural customs that have existed for many years. Nevertheless, there is a surprise. China categorizes these indigenous peoples under the term Gaoshan, or High Mountains, which reflects its intricate relationship with Taiwan, recognizing them as one of its 56 ethnic minorities. Isn't it intriguing how history and politics come together? Despite the labels and classifications, the indigenous tribes of Taiwan have successfully maintained their distinct cultures and traditions. The indigenous people of Taiwan contribute a colorful tapestry to the island's cultural landscape with their detailed handicrafts and lively festivals. Number 3. Bubble Tea Has Its Origins in Taiwan Bubble tea also called boba or pearl tea is more than just a beverage, it's a cultural trend. And can you believe it? Its beginning took place in Taiwan during the 1980s. Just think, a simple drink that started right here on these roads. You don't have to go far to find bubble tea here, it's like the unofficial beverage of the country. What precisely is bubble tea? It's a pleasant blend of tea, milk or fruit flavors typically enjoyed cold with the extra enjoyment of chewy tapioca pearls or other delicious ingredients. The infinite possibilities of bubble tea are what make it so beautiful. From traditional milk tea with its iconic tapioca pearls to fruity teas with coconut jelly, there's a drink option to suit all tastes. An exciting culinary journey is just waiting to be experienced. However, I understand that experimenting with new things can feel a bit daunting. You might be uncertain if bubble tea is your preferred choice, pun intended. However, we highly recommend that you give it a try, perhaps you'll find your new go-to beverage. Aside from its scrumptious flavor, Bubble tea embodies Taiwan's essence. Lively, inventive, and unpredictable. 
It represents the diverse culinary heritage of the island and its willingness to showcase its riches to the global community. Number 4. You can drive around Taiwan in only 8 hours. Imagine this. You get in your vehicle, start driving, and in a shorter time than it would take to watch all episodes of your preferred show, you have traveled around the whole island. The compact size of Taiwan is its beauty, but the twist is that it's not only about the speed, it's all about the possibilities of what you can achieve with the surplus of time. Consider Tainan, the historical center of Taiwan. By reducing time spent traveling you can fully engage with centuries of diverse culture and history. Tainan is full of hidden experiences waiting to be discovered, from old temples to vibrant night markets. And if you want a different environment don't worry, that it can transport you to the southern tip of the island in only two hours. Yes indeed, going swiftly from the lively city of Taipei to the peaceful beaches of Kenting National Park. The incredible beauty of nature in Taiwan, like its stunning shore and Taroko National Park, are very close by. Having extra time allows for engaging in long hikes, seeking out waterfalls and admiring the stunning natural scenery of Taiwan's rugged terrains. Number 5 you can take away your trash to the tune of Beethoven. In Taiwan, the streets are not lined with traditional bins found in other parts of the world. Instead, you will come across these powerful fighters of cleanliness, the trash trucks. These giants wander the roads prepared to quickly remove any undesired garbage directly from people's hands. How do the citizens of Taiwan determine the appropriate time to put out their garbage for pickup? Get ready, because this is where the real magic happens. Picture this. As you go about your daily routine, you are suddenly captivated by the beautiful sound of Beethoven's fur elise resonating in the area. You inquire about what is going on, and you find out, my friends, that's the sign. In Taiwan, garbage trucks don't simply pass by quietly, they play classical melodies as a signal for residents to dispose of their trash. During the happy holiday season, these skilled musicians change focus and delight us with cheerful Christmas songs. Can you picture the delight of bringing your garbage outside while hearing the happy tunes of Jingle Bells? A holiday miracle, happening right in your local area. Number 6 World's Top Producer of Digital Devices Were you aware that Taiwan, a tiny island nation in East Asia, is the driving force behind some of the most sophisticated digital devices globally? That's correct, Taiwan is the driving force behind the smartphones we can't live without, and the computers we rely on for work and play. Taiwan leads the world in producing advanced computer chips, representing a remarkable 95% of global production. Yes, you heard that correctly, 95%. But that's not the only thing. Taiwan is also a major player in the semiconductor industry, producing an impressive 65% of the global semiconductor supply. Who is the mastermind behind this technological wonder? Introducing the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, also known as TSMC. Founded in 1987, TSMC has emerged as the pride of Taiwan's technology sector. It is the biggest chip producer in the region and one of the top semiconductor factories globally. TSMC is specifically focused on producing integrated circuits, which are small yet powerful components that fuel our digital society. TSMC's advanced technology can be found in various industries, such as consumer electronics, telecommunications, and automotive applications. What makes TSMC unique? In addition to its modern facilities, TSMC is recognized for its constant drive for creativity. They are always exploring the limits of semiconductor production, paving the way for upcoming technological advancements. And the best part is, TSMC is not only a hero in the local area, it is a strong worldwide leader providing chips to major tech companies globally. Indeed, the expertise of TSMC may be responsible for the creation of the smartphone in your pocket, or the sleek laptop on your desk. Number 7. Renting a car in Taiwan can be very expensive. Why does it cost so much to rent a car in Taiwan? Let me explain it to you clearly. To start with, there is only a limited number of vehicles available. During peak seasons, Rental cars in Taiwan are in high demand and can be quickly reserved due to its popularity as a travel destination. Furthermore, there is a significant level of interest. Many individuals desire to discover the stunning island, leading rental companies to demand higher prices for their offerings. Next comes insurance. In Taiwan, the insurance rules for renting cars may be stricter than in other locations. Insurance is frequently provided as part of the rental cost, so it's important to consider this when planning your trip expenses. 
foreign visitors may face extra charges and specific requirements when renting a car here. This might involve elements such as security deposits or additional paperwork required for your rental application. So, what should a traveler do? The key is to think ahead and carefully consider your choices. Think about options such as taking public transportation or arranging for a private driver for specific outings. And if you're set on renting a car, be sure to do your homework. Explore various rental companies, assess pricing, and research potential additional charges or limitations. Number 8. There are a lot of scooters in Taiwan, about one for every two people. Were you aware that in Taiwan there is approximately one scooter for every two individuals? Yes, you understood correctly. It's more than just a means of getting around, it's essentially a lifestyle in this place. Why are there such a large number of scooters speeding through these streets? Let's analyze it. Taiwan is a compact island country with crowded urban regions. Many individuals' limited physical space and the difficulty of finding a parking spot make scooters a practical solution. Scooters are small, agile, and simple to park. Moreover, they are extremely budget-friendly, making them ideal for everyday travel. Whether you are going to work, running errands, or exploring the city, scooters provide a convenient and effective method for traveling through Taiwan's busy streets. Not only residents but travelers from all over the globe are also adopting this distinctive method of travel. Exploring the streets of Taiwan on a scooter is a unique adventure. Number 9. This country has the second highest concentration of convenience stores. Did you know that Taiwan is ranked second in the world for having the highest number of convenience stores per person? Taiwan is second only to South Korea in terms of convenience stores, and this phenomenon is not limited to busy cities. You can find popular names like Family Mart, 7-Eleven, and High Life even in the most isolated locations such as offshore islands or high in the mountains catering to both locals and tourists. Picture yourself walking through the stunning scenery of Taiwan's mountains and unexpectedly coming across a 7-Eleven store. It's similar to a sanctuary in the middle of the wild. Convenience stores are readily available at train stations, airports, hospitals, and near temples, ensuring easy access no matter where you are. They have become a crucial element of daily life in Taiwan. Additionally, don't overlook the wide variety of snacks and beverages available in these stores, from popular local dishes to delicious international delicacies. There is a wide variety of options to satisfy every palate. Number 10. In Taiwan, the longest rainbow ever was recorded. November 30th, 2018 is a day that will always be remembered in the annals of natural wonders. Researchers at Chinese Cultural University, located in the stunning hills of Yangmingshan in Taipei City, observed a truly remarkable event. They captured the longest rainbow ever witnessed. This stunning rainbow illuminated the sky for an incredible 8 hours and 58 minutes. Yes, you heard correctly. Almost 9 hours of bright hues spreading across the sky. It's as if nature specifically chose to present a grand spectacle for our enjoyment. Rainbows are a common sight at Yangmingshan. It can be considered the rainbow hub of the world, with perfect circumstances for the creation of these vibrant arcs. Seeing four rainbows simultaneously in the sky is not an unusual occurrence. Imagine walking through this beautiful park, enveloped by abundant greenery and then glancing up to witness not one, not two but four rainbows extending across the skyline. It's an enchanting experience. Number 11. A Bridge Between China and Taiwan Taiwan is not an average island, it contains ancient secrets that can be traced back thousands of years, reaching as far back as the last ice age. Envision a period when sea levels were lower, exposing a land bridge that stretched across what is now the Taiwan Strait. Prior to becoming an island, Taiwan and the mainland were linked by the same bridge, spanning 180 kilometers. Now let's turn back time to around 20,000 to 30,000 years ago. The initial brave individuals to step foot on this terrain did not come by boat, they traversed this stunning natural wonder exploring the area that would later become Taiwan. However, that is only the start of our expedition. Skip ahead to around 6,500 years ago to meet the ancestors of Taiwan's indigenous population. Unlike those who came before them, they traveled by boat, crossing the oceans to reach this promising land. It's amazing to contemplate the varied paths that resulted in the colorful array of cultures present in present-day Taiwan. Taiwan is not simply a regular island in the sea, 
It is located at the brink of the continental shelf where the ocean floor descends rapidly, particularly on its east side. Within this vast area lies the Taiwan Strait, a body of water with an average depth of only 60 meters. The Taiwan Strait is more than just a body of water separating two land masses. It is dotted with numerous islands, each possessing its own unique tale to share. The Penghu Archipelago is a precious treasure that enhances the appeal of this fascinating area. Number 12. The Taipei 101. Now imagine standing at the base of a towering structure that seems to pierce the clouds above. That's exactly the feeling you get when you're in front of Taipei 101. Did you know that back in October 2004, this architectural marvel claimed the title of the tallest building in the world? Yes, it stood tall and proud, dominating the skyline like a giant among buildings. It held on to that title until 2007, when the Burj Khalifa swooped in and took the crown. Fast forward to 2023, and Taipei 101 still commands attention, even if it's not the tallest anymore. With its 101 stories resembling a majestic bamboo shoot reaching for the sky, it currently holds the impressive rank of 10th tallest building globally. Can you imagine being on the 101st floor, looking down at the world below? It's a breathtaking experience. Now let's talk about what's inside this architectural wonder. Picture this. The lower floors bustling with activity as shoppers weave in and out of boutiques and stores. That's right, the bottom floors of Taipei 101 serve as a sprawling shopping mall, offering everything from high-end fashion to local souvenirs. It's a shopper's paradise. As you ascend through the building, you'll find yourself surrounded by sleek office spaces spanning from the 13th floor all the way up to the 84th. Imagine working with a view that stretches as far as the eye can see. It's no wonder Taipei 101 is a sought-after location for businesses. And now, let's talk about the cherry on top, the uppermost floors, where the real magic happens. Here, you'll find a treasure trove of attractions designed to delight tourists from around the globe. From observation decks offering panoramic views of Taipei's skyline to thrilling exhibits showcasing the building's engineering marvels, there's something for everyone up here. But perhaps the most heart-stopping experience of all, is the Taipei 101 damper. Wait, what's a damper, you ask? Well, it's essentially a giant pendulum weighing a whopping 660 metric tons, designed to counteract the swaying of the building caused by strong winds or seismic activity. It's engineering ingenuity at its finest, and standing next to it, you can't help but feel a sense of awe at human innovation. Number 13. Taiwan's beloved snack will make your nose fall off foul-smelling fermented tofu. The name alone is enough to pique interest and possibly intimidate those who are easily scared. Imagine this, a pungent fermented tofu with a strong enough smell to be noticed from a distance of 300 meters. It's as if you can smell it from a distance of three football fields. So what causes this tofu to have such a well-known foul odor? According to legend, every vendor holds a secret recipe handed down for generations. Usually it requires soaking the tofu in a special marinade for a few weeks or even months. Ah, look at that. The enchantment is happening right before our eyes. The tofu is cooked until perfectly crispy, locking in all those unique flavors. But you may wonder, what does that enigmatic liquid contain? It consists of fermented milk, vegetables, and also pieces of meat and fish. A burst of flavors, that's amazing. Surprisingly, the taste is mild and savory despite the unpleasant smell. It feels like a celebration in your mouth, with notes of natural flavors and a pleasing crispness from the frying. And let's not forget the accompanying dishes. The zesty pickles and fiery sauces pair well with the pungent tofu, resulting in a delicious medley of flavors that tantalize your taste buds. Number 14. Taiwan is saying bye-bye to plastic. Taiwan's goal is to achieve the status of a country free of single-use plastics by the year 2030. Can you imagine? They're not delaying the start of this change until that time though. No, the wheels have started turning and the impact is truly astounding. Imagine this. You are seated at your preferred dining establishment in Taiwan, prepared to enjoy a delectable meal. However, wait a minute, there is something lacking. Ah indeed the straw made of plastic. In 2020, major restaurants in Taiwan began saying goodbye to plastic straws. It's a slight adjustment with a significant effect, but wait, there's more. 
Moving ahead to 2025, Taiwan continues to make significant progress toward being more environmentally friendly. If you decide to opt for disposable plastics such as straws, shopping bags, utensils or beverage cups, be prepared to spend a bit more money. The focus is on promoting conscious consumption and cutting down on waste. Taiwan's dedication to sustainability extends beyond simply prohibiting plastics. This island nation is taking the lead in moving towards a more environmentally friendly future by implementing creative recycling initiatives and encouraging the use of reusable options. It's impressive to witness Taiwan embracing change and serving as a role model for the global community. Whether you're walking along its lively streets or enjoying its delicious food, remember that every small action contributes to a cleaner, more sustainable world. Number 15. Kids in Taiwan must go to school for the longest time. Similarly to their counterparts in South Korea and Japan, the Taiwanese are recognized for their dedication to hard work. They have actually been recognized as the fourth most hardworking people in the world based on the number of hours they work. Children in Taiwan are not just studying for a couple of hours daily. Taiwanese students dedicate more hours to school than any other children in the world. Don't think about those brief school days you may have experienced. In Taiwan, students must put in a significant amount of hours before the school day is considered finished. But there's more. Those hours don't account for the additional time they dedicate to tutorial sessions, cram schools, and other classes. It feels like an ongoing marathon of education that never stops. But why? This is part of Taiwan's commitment to providing high-quality education. Due to intense competition, students are willing to dedicate additional time to maintain a competitive edge. Moreover, every minute is valuable, with a curriculum focused on fostering innovation and critical thinking. Although it may appear overwhelming to some, numerous Taiwanese students excel in this setting and become influential figures in their respective industries. Therefore, when considering school hours, don't forget about the remarkable commitment of Taiwanese children. It's something that really forces you to pause and reflect. Thank you for watching and keep your curiosity alive until we meet again.